A high suspension bridge on a windy day is just the place to put Art Aaron's theory to the test, that danger can provoke passion. We had an attractive young woman stand on this scary bridge, and every time a young man would walk across by himself, she would stop him and say, excuse me. I'm doing an experiment for my psychology class on uh -huh. the effects of exposure to scenic attractions on creative expression. Would you mind filling out this questionnaire for me, please? Here's a pen. Almost all the men agreed to do it. After all, it was an attractive woman asking a man to do something. They didn't want to admit they were scared. And then I have a picture for you to look at. And I'd like for you to write a brief dramatic story based on this photograph. Okay. So the man would write the story, and when he was done, she'd say, Thank you. I appreciate uh -huh. your time. And I would love, I don't have a whole lot of time now, but I'd love to explain um, the experiment in more detail when I do have more time. So um, I'm going to give you my number, and then you can feel free to call me. It's at my hotel. OK. So she would write her name and phone number on the edge of her little sheet, tear it off, and hand it to her. All right, great. Well, my name's Linda, so um, okay. I hope you call me. OK, Linda. Thanks. Thanks. She stopped 20 men on the scary bridge, and then she stopped another 20 men on another bridge that was a big, heavy, safe bridge, not very scary at all. I am doing a project for my psychology class on the effects of exposure to scenic Of the men who met her on the scary bridge, many more phoned her that night than the ones who met her on the safe bridge. The other thing we did is we looked at the stories they wrote far more romantic and sexual content when they met the woman on the scary bridge. She's embarrassed because her boyfriend wants to marry her. Than when they met the very same woman on the safe bridge. I think this woman is a little embarrassed about something that's really not that important at all. Aaron believes that when our heart is pounding in our chest, we unconsciously look for the most attractive explanation. And if an attractive person of the right sex is standing by, then we're happy to assume we've fallen in love.